God's story, Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. So part of God's story is about a guy named Joshua, and it goes like this. Forty years after God led his family out of Egypt and through the desert, he chose Joshua to lead them to an amazing home he had promised them called Canaan. Now Canaan wasn't their home yet, not really. See, people lived there already in a big city called Jericho. They had heard how God parted the Red Sea and rained down food from heaven for his family. They had heard how God had led his family with a cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. And they realized that if God wanted his family to move into Canaan, he would do something remarkable to get them there. So they were ready for an epic fight. In the past, that had really scared God's family. But here's the thing. God knew Jericho looked scary for his family. So when it was time to go, he reminded Joshua that he was in control. God said, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua might have felt afraid, but he chose to be strong and courageous. Have you ever done something you know is right, even though you were scared? Anyway, for a while, God's family camped out, waiting to go in wondering how to get through Jericho's walls. Then one night, Joshua looked up and saw a man standing in front of him. He was holding a sword and looked ready for battle, but Joshua didn't recognize him. He asked, are you on our side or our enemy's side? The man said, neither, I'm on the Lord's side. At that moment, Joshua realized that it was God appearing as a soldier. He fell on his face and worshiped him. God was definitely with them and would lead the Israelites into Jericho. Well, after that, God told Joshua how to get through Jericho's walls. Here's what he told Joshua to do. March around the city once every day for six days. Have seven priests get trumpets made out of ram's horns and carry them. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times. The priests should blow the trumpets during the march. When they blow a long blast, all the men should shout. Then the walls will fall. Joshua might have wondered how walking and yelling would make walls fall, but he didn't question God. He trusted God, so he obeyed. And guess what? At the last trumpet blast, the walls fell, just like God said they would. God promised not to leave his family, and he didn't. He helped them get through an impossible wall and move into their new and beautiful home. And through Joshua, God would continue to help his family. In fact, Joshua finally became so sure of God's power that he was able to help others to be strong and courageous, just like God had helped him. And that's the story of Joshua. But you wanna know the best part? God appeared as a man to show Joshua that he would fight for his family and bring them safely to their new home. Joshua had nothing to fear. And later, Jesus came to earth as a man to fight for us by taking our punishment for sin so that one day we can live with him in a perfect new home, which means we have nothing to fear. Like Joshua, we can be strong and courageous. And that's a part of God's story.